During the 2020-21 season, the Sharks made the decision to commit to an organizational reset. Despite being within striking range of a playoff spot at the trade deadline, the team refrained from trading its young prospects or draft picks for a short-term fix. Heading into the 2021-22 season, one of the organization's top goals was to solidify the team's goaltending. In July, the Sharks made a trade with the Arizona Coyotes to bring in promising young goaltender Aiden Hill. Aiden's a guy that stood out, obviously, playing against us. Uh, he, he always seemed to uh, have a great game against the Sharks, and uh, he left the game sometimes thinking, oh, we could add a point or two if it wasn't for, you know, Hill. I think playing against him and seeing him uh, close up, I think he gives a makes you a little more comfortable about the decision in the summer. And I think that uh, since he's been here and I've gotten to know him, a guy that, again, he's a different kind of breed for a goalie. Like, I mean, he, he, he gets up in that weight room and he works hard and, you know, he's just physically a big, big man, but a fit man. And, you know, one thing I'll say about him in practice is he fights for every save. And that's the way, you know, he plays in the game. May not be perfect uh, stylistically, I think, but he's a fighter and he's a battler. And, and again, that work ethic. All right, ready to take the pass, ready to take the pass. All day, all day. It was kind of surprising. I mean, wasn't really uh, expecting to get traded, but I knew there might be some movement this summer with uh, the expansion draft and all that. So, yeah, I got a call. I was about to work out, and uh, yeah, it caught me a little off guard, but um, yeah, I was excited. Get to a new place and uh, join a new team. You have Nick. Eden Hill. Not only will get his second win as a Shark, he'll pick up his first shutout, the fourth of his NHL career. And the Sharks won a big one on the road to kick off a big trip in Montreal. Work is no longer a place. It's what you do and how you do it. That's where we come in. We're Polly. We outfit you with beautifully designed and engineered audio and video gear, letting you be seen and heard with incredible clarity wherever you work. So command the conversation with confidence and courage using any platform you want, because we work with all of them. But most importantly, we work with you, so you sound incredible and look even better. And for us, that's the only way to work. Just weeks after acquiring Hill, the Sharks signed James Reimer on the first day of free agency to solidify the tandem with two NHL-ready goaltenders. Reimer, he's been here before. He understands how things work in this organization. He's a guy that's had a solid career. And the thing I love about Reimer, he brings a, a workman-like attitude every time he comes in a rink. He is a guy that uh, cares a lot, works hard in practice, takes care of himself, his fitness. You know, and he works great in tandem with another goalie. I think that he's been a guy that's been in different organizations, always found a way to have success. And the biggest thing I can say is his professionalism is his experience. This is not Reimer's first stint with San Jose. He was initially acquired in 2016 and was part of the goaltending tandem that will see the Sharks go all the way to the Stanley Cup final. First go around uh, was uh, it was a wild ride. Obviously, a lot of fun. I think I came from the Leafs, so I think we were probably the one of the worst teams in the league that year. Obviously, it was a big rebuilding year for the team that year. And then I come here, and and uh, this team is is, is buzzing the role, and and they just had a ton of chemistry. So um, you come in, and you just want to help out. You don't want to ruin anything. You just want to help the team and, and uh, help them get into the playoffs and, and do what you can. The boys just kept rolling, and it was it was a lot of fun. It is over, San Jose. Western Conference Champions. Entering the 2021-22 season, Reimer feels similar energy to what he felt when he came in during the 2016 season. You know, I think excitement, uh, very similar, you know, and I've, I've said it a few times and, and I don't mean to, to harp on it or, or give excuses or, or anything like that. But I think last year was a hard was a hard year for, for this team and, and just a, a ton of adversity and you never want to, you know, make, like I said, make excuses, but, you know, things didn't go um, the way they wanted to. And, and uh, I think there's there's a lot of pride in this room and and, uh, and all the guys, your competitors, you want to be at your best. And, and, and when you're not, you're, you're fired up to prove it to mostly to yourself but to everyone else that that you can play and you can play well so i feel like that's the energy this year it's you know it's going to be somewhat of a normal normal year lord willing and and i think the guys are are chomping at the bit to uh to get her going and show that, that we're going to be a solid team this year we got a lot of talent so uh there's a lot of young guys pushing for spots right now so it's exciting exciting time to be a fan to be a player see who makes a team and see all that and see how the lines will turn out so I'm excited this year, and uh, yeah, I think we'll have a great team and make a good run for the playoffs. Yeah, 
you know, for us moving forward, we talk about culture. It's about getting along as a, as a family unit in, in, this, in, the, in the four walls of your dressing room and being able to work hard for each other and hold each other accountable and those things. And I think both those guys fit right in. We're going to have a lot of fun this year and, and we're going to make sure we protect our goalies and play well in front of them. But these are the kind of guys I feel uh, play with a lot of pride and, and when we need that big save, we're going to get it.